Hey, 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 welcome to Oblast. I think this is the 500 million, 22,056 <laughs> show we've done. It keeps getting better. It keeps getting bigger. I'm very excited today. Actually, I've been excited for the last couple of days because I got a surprise phone call from an absolutely wonderful, beautiful young lady. Her name is Anna Samu, and I will introduce her in a minute. Uh, she had actually she texted me. She said, "Chris, can you please call me?" Now, how do I how do I turn someone down that says please to me? So I actually called her pretty quick. I think it was pretty quick when I seen the message, um, and I called her and I introduced myself. She introduced herself. She goes, "I, Chris, I got a problem." I said, "Ah, uh, what is your problem, Miss Anna?" She said, "You guys missed my country." I said, what do you mean we missed your country? What's your country? Samoa. I said, guess what? We missed your country. <laughs> and I thought to myself, I asked her, I said, you know what? I can honestly say I've never heard that country mentioned in the few years that I've been in here. And I asked her, how many people from Samoa, if I say it, Samoa, if I say it right or wrong, I'm sorry, um, are actually in a past that you know of. And I believe she said, Chris, maybe three or four. And I'm like, oh, we got to change that. I go, boy, did you call the right person? Did you call you? You called the right big mouth because we're going to change that. And I explained to her that, you know, people say it's too late. It's not too late. This is the time we really want to talk about a passive because you guys know what's happening and how close we are. And uh, when we launch, just because we launched to the world, that doesn't mean we stop. We still have the opportunity to reach out to more people and more people, not only through the company's doings, but through our doings. Now, right now, when I find out there's a country, and there might be more than three, I don't know that 100%, but the population of that, I believe, is 205 to 300,000 people that live in Samoa. And I, I'm learning about American side and, and honest from the, uh, the Western side and all these different things. And she's going to talk a little bit about that. But I'm thinking... I can't miss anything. Anyone out there that knows of a country or a providence or a little bitty island with three people on it that I don't know about, get back to myself or any of the leaders on here because we want to know. We want to get, we, right now we're, we're, we're just walking up the beach to Samoa. We're not even on the property, the land yet. All right. We want to get on the land in the middle, all the way around, and we want to introduce and pass it to as many people as I can. So I told this, she's, Chris, I'm scared, I'm nervous. I don't think you look scared or nervous. You actually look very beautiful. Love the uh, flower in your hair. And uh, I'm interested to find out, I did some research on the computer about your beautiful country and very interesting, you know? And then what happens? Ash, before, and I kept it a secret until my brother, Ash, I said, you know what, Ash? I forgot to text you, I texted it today. On the um, the webinar, we were, myself and Julie were doing earlier, and Susie. And I said, "Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot." He goes, "Chris Johnson and uh, what did he say? Chris Johnson discovered a new um, country." And I didn't realize I said it that way, because that's the way it sounded. He's like, "I want to know this country you discovered." I'm thinking, "What's he talking?" About? Oh, so I texted him Samoa, and what does he do, Mister My Brother Ashes? Oh, Samoa, I know all about. Ash, Ash, you're not supposed to tell anybody. Too late. Too late. And I reassured him, I'm never telling you a secret again. <laughs> but all of a sudden, Ash comes out of nowhere. You know, he's got like a thesaurus up here, a dictionary over here, an encyclopedia back here. And he starts busting out all this knowledge of this, of this lady's country, uh, including The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, <laughs> right? <laughs> and he went on to tell us about certain, um, I believe it was uh, a website. I can't remember exactly what it was, how they were only allowed this. And it's some of the previous companies that he worked with, I believe if I get this wrong, actually came out of that country for different, I don't know, a bunch of computer techie stuff. So I'm like, wow, I got lucky because Anna called me out of the blue. And I felt very blessed, Anna, that you did. Because right now I'm going to work my you know, that word, that thing behind me that sits on, my, sits on a chair all day watching Zooms. I'm going to work my butt off to help you and to build up 
your country and get to as many people as we can, not only before lunch, but after lunch, just to help you out because you called the right guy. So on that note, number one, I want to say welcome Samoa to a bless. All right. Where we want to fix the mess. We've gone through many, many webinars right now. Phenomenal, phenomenal webinars. I believe in a bless that have blown me out my chair. And now I get to introduce a new country that's been there. We just missed it. And that's not going to happen no more. And I want to hand it over to Anna. She's, I don't know what Anna's got for us. I said, Anna, just do what you say. Talk about your country. Let us know what Obless can do for you. And then we'll go to Q&A. But I want to know everyone right now. Blast this picture out about welcome Samoa to Obless. Because I want to put Samoa on the map in a passive like we did Papua New Guinea, like we did Africa, like we did Australia, New Zealand, all these places. I want them known through a passive. So on, on that note, I'm handing over the mic to you. It's all yours. Okay. <clears throat> um, first and foremost, I would like to give thanks to our Heavenly Father for giving us a great opportunity to share and discuss our successful business or company. Secondly, I would like to welcome our CEO, hardest proud person you know, in the whole world, Ash McFarren, for his heart, for his loving, you know, always go through to the people of the world, not specifically, you know, for his family, you know, and his country, but for all the global. And also, I thank you, um, you know, Chris Johnson, you know, for the time. You know, I don't know, you know, just to me came out just before I head up to the church on Sunday morning. And then somebody came to me to, you know, send a request to Chris. I said, what for? You know, what for? You know, I'm still following uh, the webinars until, you know, with Lynn Nakamoto and Julie and, you know, uh, Marty and all this and Chris. But it just just to send. So I just sent that request to um, you know, Chris. What happened? Chris, you know, um responded to me. And I uh, said, Chris, I know I I don't know, my heart is always go through my people of the country of Samoa. But um I just don't know how to go through to drive into the you know to the to the unpassive because I signed up to the unpassive on the seventh of the seventh. 2020, 2020. In that time, I was um, helping, caring, you know, I was a full-time caring of my mother of 84 years, you know, age. And um, from since that time, and then I saw, um, I read, and then I uh, watched, you know, one of, um, you know, Ash McFarland's, um, his first um, webinar since I first um, joined in 2020. Then I said to myself, Ooh, from all these years that I've been on the you know, network marketing, I never came across with this guy. You know, he just brought up and he's brought up all his heart, you know, that he really wants, you know, to help out the world. So I pray, you know, I, while I was doing my washing and I say, God, if this is the right man, you know, you open the door for me because I've been around, you know, so many network marketing. Then I signed up my people three quarter of my people of Samoa signed up to one of the other company. And then what happened? Last four years, I went over to Thailand. I went over to Hong Kong. I went over to Malaysia. I went over to all this country. So I can see myself to the CEO to see if this is, you know, a reality of this is real, you know, for the company, because I love to, you know, to help out my country. So when I got back to Australia and then I start to work. I brought, I took some people, some pastor's wives with me, you know, so what happened when we got home and I said, okay, this is true. So we earn so much money and then even my country, they spend about how many millions because they trust me, you know, for the company. What happened, you know, the CEO, you know, he just ran away, disappeared. But the problem is to me, you know, I pray God, you know, please give me your peace and even my, you know, the people of my country. But one day God will reveal it to me something, 
So I can be impressed all these people in Samoa's, you know, money, how they, some people, they so poor family, but they just put their effort, put their money in just to help out, you know, so they can, you know, get more, you know, more money to help out the family. So Chris, and then all the leaders, you know, I really do appreciate it for, you know, for you guys to accept me on this um, panel today. And also, you know, thank you so much for your enthusiastic. Thank you for your perseverance. Thank you for your, your courage and also your willingness because I put my heart, you know, with my, um, my country in Samoa. I know the country, we are from the poor family. We are from the poor country, but I came to Australia to help out, you know, to the country. So when I connected some of the leaders, because I still got my leaders, so now when I introduced the uh, passive to Samoa, and then the people say, no, Anna, don't tell me that you can come with another business, but look at how much money, you know, that they have, they, they really hurt. They are really hurt, and even me too, the more that, you know, is from me. And then, Anna, you know, we don't want any more, any more at all, please. So I said, listen, you know, if Satan closed the door for that one, God will open the other door for us. And then I'm pretty sure because, you know, I went through to um, Ash McFarris, um, you know, his profile and all this, you know, he is a good man. And then I can see he is a son, a son of God. He is from God, you know, bring this man and say, listen, we have to watch, you know, what you're doing. We have to watch you first. If you success, then we can come in and say, no, this is your time. This is your time. There is a, a, a second chances for us, you know, but... I know that uh, one of some of my leaders, you know, from the you know previously um company, they 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 over here with me because I told them come just to come, come and listen, you know, um for these all the leaders, you know, they these are people that I heard, you know, their weaponers, you know, they um you know they all from God, you know, they all you know even their heart, you know, because you know I've been crying out to God and say listen. You know, I really love to help, you know, even not only Samoa, but all over the world, you know, and that's my passion for how many years. But I just stay in the room, I just stay because, you know, I'm a pastor of the church. Then I said to myself, and well, you know, I can go over and then help out the people, but I can still stay low key, you know, to, um, you know, just to pray, you know, and intercede, you know, for the company. And that's why when every when I'm um, as you know on the panel, I always intercede for him, you know, put a, a good words in his mouth because I I can I can't even thank you know um as I only thank God to bring the right person in the right time for us. And then Ash came over in such a time of this. So and that's my um you know word for for us, but I thank you all the leaders. I've been watching all the leaders, they all have a, a beautiful heart, you know, a same heart. After God, you know, so that's why I just come, you know, before you guys, you know, to give you all my help. But some more, we really need help into some more, my country, you know, and then um, from all these things happening from this company. So I always went over to Samoa, travel to Samoa, you know, but it's really hard for them to go over, you know, to, they have to transit to New Zealand, then New Zealand to Samoa or Brisbane or Australia to Fiji and then Fiji to, to Samoa. So that's the other thing that is really hard for Samoa, you know, um, you know the, the airlines and also, you know, some houses, you know, because some people, they have no, no house, you know, they're on the, on the plant, taro plantation. They all, I know it's, I can see some other, you know, um, island exactly the same because I know there are some pastors from Cook Island as well. They're in a, they're in a zoo. And then from Africa, and then from American Samoa, and from New Zealand, and then from everywhere. So I just invited them yesterday to come over today. So let us to hear. I'm the one that who voices, you know, to the to the company about I know our country. But um, is there any other thing, um, you know, I can go ahead? But that is my heart, you know, um, Chris, for you today, and also you know all the leaders, especially our CEO. If he's listening to um, this uh, webinar, you know, welcome in the name of Jesus, our Lord, in Jesus' name. Very good, Anna. And I have some questions for you, easy ones. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the history of your country? Just give us a little background 
or anyone else that's on here that's from that country or his family, that would be nice too. We'd like to hear a little bit about your country. Okay. Um, is, um, is there any other people? Because I know there are some pastors from Samoa. They over to the, you know, to the, to the soup. But um, yes, um, Samoa, we are independent since um, 1962. And then now um, this year is the 60th, you know, years since they, you know, we are um, independent. So um, we have our own um, things and then our own, um, you know, our background, you know, we're from Samoa, but um, we migrate, you know, to New Zealand and to Australia just for the future, you know, of our families. But, um, you know, sometimes, you know, but some people, they can't come overseas because, you know, they don't have any relatives, you know, overseas to come and help out to, for some more. What do you think <laughs> Obless is going to do for your country? Oh, uh, there's so, I think there's so much, you know, there's so much because I know that, um, I haven't been to um you know some more for you know since this um lockdown. But um you know as I um you know read the, you know the news and all these things happening in some more, you know about people that for their houses, you know they and even um the wolf, you know the wolf, you know they had to do some wolf and all those kind of things. But um you know I'm planning to go to some more, you know after this um, so maybe the end of this year. So I can go in and have a look back to, you know, to Samoa. And then I can see, you know, but there's a lot of things I'm Chris, you know, I'm needed into Samoa. And also, as I said, I'm so hard to go to Samoa because of the, you know, the airlines problem. You know, we had to go, you know, via, you know, to Auckland, New Zealand, or via to PG, and then they stay there for at least eight hours, 16 hours before they, you know, hit to the country. And then, um, you know, But if, is it all right if you know if we can uh, get them, um, you know, to some people from Samoa to, um, you know, to, um, to say a word or? Absolutely. Yeah. We tried. We tried bringing uh, Lagi Felipe. Is it? Yeah. How do you say it? But I don't think they're they're coming. Don't be nervous, guys. Come on. Who? Listen. Whoever. Lani? Is, yeah. Pick them yes. up. Lani Lani and, um, yeah. And uh, Pastor Josh. Pastor, are you here? Pastor Joshua, he's online. Don't be oh. nervous. Anna, Anna, how do you spell his name? Pastor what? Uh, Josh. George? He's not a founder. He's not a founder. Not yet. Yeah, I don't yeah see not it. yet. Not yet. There, there are so many people that are not founders, you know. As I said, it's only three people, four people from Samoa. They already signed up. Lagi just joined us, so she's in the panel somehow. Oh, okay, Lagi. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. She's a yeah. She's a founder. Lagi, would you like to unmute yourself? Hey, Lagi. You see her? Lagi, are you on here? Can you unmute yourself if you are? I don't see her. I know it's a bad connection in Samoa. Anyway, it's just. Laggy, mic is open. Laggy, can you hear me? Anybody can hear me? We can hear you. Hello? Yes, Laggy? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Laggy. Yes, I can hear you guys, but I can't really hear if I'm on or... We can hear you. How are you today? We can hear you. Oh, you can hear me. Okay. Hi, Chris. Yeah. Hi, everybody. It's so, so good to hear and to see you all. I'm very well, actually speaking from the island, all right, as of now. Yep. So can you tell me a little bit about what you think Obless can do for your country? And help out over there. What else, what a passive could do for it? Laggy, you muted yourself. Laggy, can you unmute yourself, please? No. Ooh, it's gonna be one of those nights. 
It's Harold's fault. I think it's the internet. Is. Yeah. Langy? Yeah. Hello? All right. We'll get to her, Anna. Anna, tell me some. And even on Tosh. Tell me some things in your country that we can explain to these individuals on here that are all part of Obless, what we're going to be able to do. What's some of the things? No, I'm not looking for bad things over there. I mean, what's some of the things that you think we can help out with out there, over there? Uh, okay, thank you, um, Chris. Hey, everybody. I know there's some. Oh, Asawa. Oh, can we let down uh, Asawa? He's one from American Samoa. Hi, Asawa. How you doing? I'm doing good. Hello, everybody. It's good hey. to see you. <laughs> I'm glad you're here Anna, Anna is very nervous, so. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> <No, I'm> <laughs> yes, hello, everybody. Um, I'm residing here in American Samoa um, after 16 years when I moved down here. But I'm from West, from Samoa, which is the, uh, yes, from Western Samoa. Yeah. Uh, I just got back from Samoa three weeks ago. Cool. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, people um, struggle, struggle right now because of the uh, the price of the uh, uh, of everything is like it's <laughs> skyrocket, it's so high. And one of the thing that I I saw it over there in our country in Samoa. They really need is the uh, the transportation, like the airline, because right now oh. we don't have any airlines. The uh, Fiji Airway from Fiji and, and New Zealand from mm. New Zealand and um, uh, Australia Airline, they are the ones they um, um, taking over right now, and. One of the other thing that I, 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 I think my people in Samoa really need <coughs> is the, um, the health. Yeah. What I mean is the, uh, at the hospital, we need mm. more doctors, you know, uh, qualified doctors, specialists for, 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 for our people in Samoa. Yes, I think that's the thing I, we really need in Samoa right now. Now, now, do you say you live there or you just visited there, but you grew up there? Yes, I grew up there. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I moved here in American Samoa 16 years ago with my family. And that's the reason why we moved here in American Samoa, because yeah. I, I can't survive over there because of the... Uh, the, it's a, the 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 rate Depression. starting mm. rate is so low, but now the uh, price of the uh, 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 of everything is skyrocket. Yeah. It's like double, triple the price of everything, and people are they can't afford. Yes, and that's the reason why I moved here in American Samoa. Because it's the territory of the United States. And I just came back from Samoa a couple of weeks ago. And that's what I found out. The people are so struggling right now because of the, uh, the, the, um, the, the, the yes, because of the, uh, the pandemic. Mm. Yes. Mm. What kind of job do people do over there? A job, not winger. Oh, a job? Oh. What are some of the jobs they do over there? Right now, the, uh, the, 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 the really support thing right now for our people in Samoa is the, um, the uh, what you call the job in Australia and New Zealand right now, they offer it. The seasonal worker. Seasonal That's where most of the people are going. They are, yes, the seasonal workers in the, uh, Australia and New Zealand. They that's hire people. They hire people. And that's where yeah. most of our people, even police 
and uh, nurses, yes, all good, no officers, they quit their job and they move to seasonal works. They work off violin because of the low rate. Yes, I think they only have paid for two dollars for the starting rate, two tala, which is one dollar US. That's their pay. You're saying? Yes. Oui, for an hour you're talking about one hour, one dollar. Yes. Oh Jesus! Wow. Yes. Now, as you were, oh, there's Laggy's trying again. Now let me ask you this question. So, uh, for, for one, for, for example, the 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 price of one case of chicken is only twelve twenty pounds. The one case chicken in Samoa is one hundred and ten tala. So wait a minute. So tala is your currency. Yes, tala yeah. is currency. Okay. Yes. So one, so explain but me the price, but the price of a, a case of a chicken here in American Samoa, it's only seventeen dollars. Right. So compared to Samoa, it's one hundred and ten tala for only twelve tw twenty pounds case of chicken. So can well, you imagine that's the price in Samoa now? Right. And well, and the starting rate is only two dollar something, two tala something. So what off the top of your head or a guess, what is the uh, annual wage yearly for a small worker over there who lives there all year round? How much do you think they make a year? I think let me let me cut my calculation. They only I does anybody can hear me? Yeah, go ahead, Langi. Yeah, Langi. Yeah. Langi, Langi. Oh, got a business. Langi got a business, you know, in Samoa. Yes, Langi, Langi got a business. Mm. Yes, the, the the starting rate of the the the, the employee over here is uh, six is five hundred to six hundred tala. I mean, sorry, five five to six thousand tala a year. How much is that That's in American for our currency? starting rate? Loggy, how much is that in American currency? Do you know? U.S. Sorry, mm. Chris, I can't really hear you. Would you pardon me, please? Uh, how much would that be like in American money? The 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 five hundred tala, whatever you say of that currency is. I mean the five thousand tala. Yeah, how much is that in American yeah. currency? That is around thousand and five hundred dollars. Yeah, uh, to two thousand dollars. So they make that a yeah. year. That's their yearly wage. Yes. Oh. Yes, a yearly. Yeah. So on passive will definitely, definitely help those people out that you call family over there, uh, with the residual income. Correct. That's right. Poverty <laughs> is really, uh, really a bad news over here. So we really need to, to help out mm. with that. And also, that's the other thing why your parents are really struggling in. Taking their school to, I mean, the kids have the education in that. Yes, education. Kids can mm -hmm. cannot uh, finish their school when by the time they reach universities in that they actually drop out and looking for a job, like going mm -hmm. doing some labor job in that because they can't really uh, afford to to finish the degree in that. So it's really a problem. All right, we have some questions. Some hands raised. If you don't mind, uh, Laggy, is it Asawa? Should I say yes, it? Asawa. Okay, yes. if you guys wouldn't mind, and ladies, answer some questions. We'll start with uh, Florence. Can you please unmute yourself and ask your question? How you doing, Florence? <coughs> Look on your bottom left for that microphone, Florence. Unless you're on your phone. Better nope. You're not going to find it? You want us to come back to you, Florence? Just say this. India. <laughs> All right. 
I want to. I'll come back to you, Florence. I'll come back to you. I want to call Robin Noble. Robin, if you want to unmute yourself, can you please? Uh, I know you have something good to say. I understand that. Hi, Chris. Thank you. Alofaga to Anna and Asua. It's oh, so nice you. to have you with us here. Thank you. Bye. I had beautiful, beautiful experiences when I used to visit Samoa and American Samoa. What I'd like to tell the other founders on here is that you are a perfect fit for On Passive because the people of Samoa are family oriented. They are from the heart. Right. They yes. look after each other. Thank you. There That's is right. no me. There is no I. It is we. It is community. It is there to yes. help each other. And everybody that they know, everybody that they touch is family. Right. Look, look at the beautiful smile on Anna's face. <laughs> this is the type of look. Asua, handsome young man. Everybody there has wears their heart on their sleeve. Unfortunately, it is very, very difficult. And when the times when I was there, economics were also very difficult, but tourism and trade and travel was very strong and we did very well. I used to visit you, Anna, on the cruise ships. And I used to give the information to the guests on board about the beautiful people of Samoa and what you had there and what they would Thank see and how they would help you. Thank you. So you are opening up a new world to the founders for many of the founders in Onpasu, just simply by being here with us tonight and exposing them to your beauty, to your culture, to who you are. And you know, some of the most exquisite artwork is actually worn on the Samoan people. Tattoos are tattoos that are cultural in meaning and respectful of the tribes, respectful of the people, the culture and the history of their country and of the people. And so many of the younger generation leave there, leave the island, leave their families and go to the other countries, just as Anna was saying, to New Zealand, to Australia, to America, to Western Samoa, to Europe, to be able to send money home and to help their families survive. We know that this happens in so many cultures, but in Samoa, this is done from a very early age and they help their immediate family, they help their extended family, and they extend and help the community. You are very, very special people. You are very spe special people in my heart. And part of the joy of my travels was being able to visit your beautiful islands and country. And I do look forward to being able to return again one day. And for the people of Samoa who may be listening and wondering if they should be joining into Unpassive and joining you, absolutely. Because you and Unpassive are the same. You have the same heart. You have the same belief and understanding of community and helping each other. And you will benefit and believe it, Unpassive will also benefit from having you with us. I'm so grateful Amen. and proud to be able to speak with you tonight. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Robin. Always good to hear your voice, Robin. Appreciate you. Okay, let's yeah, try Florence it. again. Florence, are you able to unmute yourself yet, Florence? All right, we're going to come back to you, Florence. You're having some technical difficulties. Uh, Armin, can you please unmute yourself? You got a question or a comment? <clears throat> oh, I didn't realize my hand was up. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. You have a question or a comment, Armin? Uh, no, I, I never even put my hand up in grade school. I apologize. <laughs> okay, I'll, go, I'll go stand in the corner. <laughs> he goes, don't, yeah, go stand in the corner, boy. Put the eraser on your head, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got that dunce hat. I had custom made. Oh no, you stay <laughs> right there, Armin. I oh, need oh. I need to laugh once in a while. So all right. It, uh engineer Mike, go ahead and meet yourself. So leaders, good evening, everybody, and welcome to another beautiful edition of um Obless. I uh I read a little bit about Samoa some time ago. 
when I was trying to read about the islands. So I found that Samoa was one of them. When I went to it very deep, I realized that um, what our sister Rona shared to us about PNG is 100% mm -hmm. the same thing that is happening in Samoa. So my heart goes to you people, Anna and Aswa. Thank you for bringing this to uh, the attention of the power that being in non-passive. And I just want to thank you and to make you, let your people know, get the assurance that something is coming. We're already here, right? So just by you being an unpassivian, a blesser, you are already a winner. And those lives will be touched. Coming to this old bless of, um, platform, is that platform that we change lives, okay? Because <laughs> Onpasi was built with heart. Onpasi was built with that for our CEO. And this is a platform for everything, for the changes in the world. Remember, I remember some days ago, he was telling us that this is a moment that Onpasif is coming. We Onpasif is being given birth to this kind of a period in life which is, there's a, there's a lot of recession coming in and we are emerging as the new heroes in the world, the new blessers in the world, the new people to carry forth the legacy of Mr. Aj Mufare. And this is a platform. Anna and um, Aswa, we are behind you and we will make that happen through this old blessed platform. Thank you everybody. Thank you, our leaders. Thank you. Thank you, Engineer Mike. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you. I'm going to try Florence. Are you able to unmute yourself yet, Florence? All right. Florence, when you're ready, you can just turn your camera on. Well, we're going to keep moving, but I'll get you. Miss Ivy, how are you? Can you please unmute yourself? Yeah. I'm fine. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. And, uh, yeah. Um, when you were asking whether there was somebody else who knew about the Samoans, I had wanted to talk about my interaction with them. And um, Miss Robin has captured it all and everything she said about them is nothing but the truth. I am um, the head of a diversity and uh, inclusion um, company for my company of over 20,000 workers. And I did have a Samoan. She's called um, Miss Manu. I will mention her first name, but when I say Manu, you know, yeah. They are so family oriented and mm. on passive can adopt that whole island. They are so unified they carry their culture of togetherness, of unity. Um, when uh, Miss Manu used to work for us, she was the best worker. She was one of the people everybody wanted to work with because of her human relationships. She was kind and she used to talk to me for long hours about her dad. She brought her dad that was sick to look after her dad. Her husband worked at um, United Airlines or something. And then she had family that was in construction. They are so hardworking. I haven't seen some before. She's tireless. She never said no. She was always ready to help. And it is the whole nature of the people on that island. I also interacted with them in London. And like Noble, uh, Miss Noble said, they wear their culture on their body, their clothes, no matter how poor or deprived a Samoan is. They would wear a beautiful dress. They'll always put flowers in their hair. They'll bring food. They will sing, you know, and um, I'm telling you, they deserve on passive. We can easily adopt that whole island. It's not a joke. It's a culture that we need and a culture that is beautiful. When you meet them, you'll be wondering why there are not so many of them more than us. Thank you so much for letting me share. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Ivy. Beautiful words. 
Uh, yeah. Florence, are you ready? Can you unmute yourself yet? Uh, no, but uh, hi. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. I, hello. Well, hi. Hello. Can you hear me? This is this is Winnie. Oh. It's, it's okay, Winnie. Can you hold on one second, please? Florence, is that you trying to talk? Oh yes, it's me. Hi, Chris. <laughs> okay, I I don't know how I can hear you, but you're muted. I, but I can hear you. I'm I'm using my husband's phone because oh, okay, my cell phone it. wouldn't let me unmute. Yes. I, I know I'm tired, but I thought I was going wacky there. For a <laughs> okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, uh, Anna, it's nice to meet you here. I'm Samoan, you. and I live in Canada now. Um, oh. Every, yeah. Aloha. <laughs> aloha. Um, oh. Yeah. Yes. Be nice. I, became, I became a founder in uh, 2020, in September. Oh. So... Uh, Chris, oh. I'm so glad that uh, Anna reached out to you because uh, another founder friend of mine, we have actually uh, enrolled some of my family members to become founders in Samoa because personally okay. for myself, I know <coughs> the struggles our little paradise has been facing for many years, even though yeah. I have been adopted out, Samoa has always been my heart. Um, I have very yeah. strong roots in Samoa and the struggles it's from when you're young, you know, uh, parents mm. are hardworking, there's never enough money to go around or uh, feeding, uh, your, your, your whole family. Um, another thing that I, I notice is the education and, you know, Samoa is the pride, the children right. and the education is very important. Mm. And a lot of the, the parents cannot afford education for their children. So majority of the time, the, the children will be sent home because the parents don't have the money to pay the for mother. the school fees. It yes. is heartbreaking for me because as a young girl and left the island many years ago, I was able to not think about myself, but I was thinking of my siblings where I went to school and, um, at a very young age, I worked and, you know, supported my families, um, even though I'm adopted out, but I am blessed to have two families. So in Samoa, I think, um, you know, having the low wages that people are getting paid, a lot of the people in Samoa are very well-educated people. And mm. the sad part about it is that there's not enough resources um, as far as oh did we lose you hey that you got muted brian your husband oh. muted you <laughs> i just sent uh, another feature. oh sorry about that there you go okay Bad husband yeah. i'm gonna fire him <laughs> yeah <laughs> I won't cook him breakfast, but anyway, um, I think on passive has a huge potential uh, through old blast mm. um, yeah. to, to help on uh, Samoa because I, I have a heart for my country. I mean, I have a heart for a lot of countries, you know, the children. And I think um, looking after the children and our elderly is more important. So Chris, if I could call, I have a friend founder. Her name is Jennifer Dickinson. I know she's not on camera, but Jennifer has the heart to actually invest it and bought positions for my some of my families. And I, her and I are planning to go to Samoa because I have a huge mission that we would like to carry out in Samoa. And I think, you know, um, schooling, uh, our medical uh, in Samoa, the, the medical uh, field is just not uh, not not what it should be right now. Um, the elderly, uh, and I think uh, just more so, you know, having more resources for uh, kids to learn. The the women, I think, uh, Obles can definitely provide funding uh, to help Samoa 
with the help of founders as well to team up and build Samoa because after all, we are the, the heart of the paradise, you know, the South Pacific. And yeah. you come to our country, we treat you like king and, and queens. And, um, you know, it's just, everybody has a smile, but yet they are struggling, but they don't let their struggles get in the way. They're kind and humble people you will find kids collecting mangoes to sell on the street so their, their parents or grandparents can have a meal for the night. And um, that's all I wanted to say, Anna. We will connect um, after this. Thank and you, I would love I would love to, um, you know, introduce you to my other founding members, uh, partners. Uh, my brother, yeah. Edwin, yeah. he's a big IT guy in Apia. That's where my family's oh. from. Okay. Yeah, okay. Old brick. Yeah, we are the old bricks. Okay. So oh, we're good. So Chris, thank you, thank you so much uh, to all the leaders and all what you do um, for accepting Anna's phone call and uh, putting Samoa on the map. And uh, thank you. You know, <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for letting me have the time to speak. Thanks, Thanks Florence. You're welcome. Absolutely, you. get a connection. Uh, and Jennifer Dickinson, yes. I, I want to, if you can, Jennifer, come on. I'd like to hear you a few times. See, this is how it starts. You got to remember, <laughs> four plus years ago, Ash Mafar told one person. And uh, look how many people know about it now. Just yeah. the word of mouth. Samoa's, I, I think I read it's 205,000 population. It could be more. Uh, but yeah. think about that. I think probably in about three months, four month time, when a passive really took off, uh, we got we got three or 400,000 people real quick. All we got to do, it sounds like you already started doing it, is we're now, we're, we're on the beach of Samoa. We're on the beach. We have an individual, Florence, connecting with her family, getting them in. And each one of you got families in there. That's how we do this. This is how we're getting in there. It's off to a good start. So there, I want to bring up, uh, is it Uni? Uni Fonoti? Uniform of tea. Oh, Winnie. Oh, okay. Ah, there you okay. are. Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hi, brother. That's my brother. Hello. Oh, this is your brother, yeah. brother? Real brother? Yeah. Yeah, he used to live yeah. in America. Yeah. And yeah. where do you live now? Yeah, I'm in Samoa. Samoa. Oh, so yeah. yeah, hello, everybody. Mano, mano. Yeah. I, I love, I love, I love everybody's faces. You know, they smile and their generosity. And I, I am very touched. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sister uh, Anna, uh, and all the, the comment, commentary about Samoa. Yeah, everything you said is true. You know, been in America for uh, almost 40 years and coming back here, and there is a problem. Yes, there is a huge problem compared to where I was running around in California. And yeah, here is uh, everything they say is true. The salary, the economy, everything. You know, only the, the, the people who have things, yes. like the richer become richer. And then uh, the poor is always poor. Um, right now they have two uh, former government. They just form a new government. The new government called FAST, and uh, it's uh, it's a change because there's a lot of uh, political going. You <clears throat> you any? Yes. Can you cut off the volume of the other device, please? It is interfering. Yes. Yes. We can just, hear you. Just did, just Thank you, sir. Now. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay, Thank you, Michael. But anyway, um. I think Samoa can be very one of the richest uh, island in the Pacific, you know, because of their land and their custom, the culture. You know, we are so close to our land and our culture because that's our connection to our lands. You know, when 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 when, when there's a baby is born, they cut the the people coat and 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 bury it to the ground, and and that's his connection to the crown. And, and that's our, that's our life. Without the land, 
we are nothing. And so we have this land, but like uh, uh, Florence was saying, there's no resources. You know, you can't just keep going, just do the same old work as our ancestors been doing years and years ago. It's tough, you know, and that's what I, I really want our government to look at it, you know, to, to try to give the people the resources to develop their land. But I think with our lands we have, we can make more money because we can do import and export, but they only do certain company or the elites. Um, <clears throat> one of the thing I'm doing now, uh, 14 years ago, uh, there was a law passed. I was in America when this law passed. This is called a torrent system. And there's, one, there's myself and four other chiefs with other lawyer is trying to repeal this law because this law is taking our lands away from us, customary lands. So this is another problem. And we just had it a hearing just a day ago. And they are ready to throw off my case. The case is I'm fighting, representing that all the people of Samoa belong and have their customary land that is little and slowly taken away by this law called a torrent system, what we call LTRA. And like I say, we can be the most richest country if we can develop our land, if we have the resource and let, don't take our land for all these business people, foreigners out there, they're trying to take our land. Please leave our land, that's our connection. Without the land, there's no some more. And so a system worker, like they say, it's a, it's a blessing from the sky that New Zealand, Australia, all this is making this happening. That's how some of the family here are survived because the money coming from the, from the from out, overseas is really making some changes to them. Ooh. Did we I heard ooh and he left. I think the boss came in. That's what I think. <laughs> all right, Uni, we'll get you back on here. Uh, all right. I, that's what I want to hear. I see Laggy. I see you got your camera on. Nice to see you. Nice to see your face. Uh, feel free to jump in, Laggy. Any of these questions or comments help out. Help out. I know Anna. Anna's nervous. I don't know why she, she should feel right at home right now. You got a lot of your family. You're, you're muted, Anna. Anna, you're muted. Anna? Yeah. There you um, go. Chris, yeah, like, um, you know, like um, Florence um, was saying, and then uh, also uh, uh, see Luna, you know, I agree with them because um, this is what happened. When I was in Samoa, I was being educated from Samoa. Then I didn't complete my school because I had to look after my siblings my little siblings, and even I can't afford, you know, any, you know, my school fees and all. So I had to look after my siblings, only one income just from my mom. So now mom passed away, you know, this year, the 5th of May, then, um, you know, I'm, I'm so in, I'm still in grief because, you know, mom, she's the only one income in Samoa of the whole family, you know, we've been you know, eating from all mom's uh, income. You know, from the 10 of her children, but I'm the eldest. And then my brother, the one that went, when is he just, you know, he's the second one. And then he's the only one is in Samoa. But everyone, they all in overseas now. Because when I first came to, to New Zealand, you know, through, um, I was sitting, you know, one of the exams to see who, if I, if I pass the exam from Samoa, I will just straight to, um, you know, um, to New Zealand. So I did. Then I went to, and then I tried to, you know, to start looking for work. So I work and then I start to bring one at the time. All my 10 siblings, one at the time, only for with one person, you know. So that's the thing that is really, you know, it's really touched me because, you know, I do what other people want to do unto you. You know, so that, as my brother was saying, as my um, sister Langi and Asawa, see, I, all these people that I help them, but they're not even my, you know, my connection, you know, they're not, not even my blood. 
but I helped him. I helped him just like the sisters and the brothers to me. So that's the thing that I'm, you know, I really want, um, like um, Florence and uh, Luna was saying, and then my other and sister, I agree with them because I know that I've been pulled up, you know, and then now when I come to New Zealand, I have to bring all the family, I have to bring all my, um, you know, my, um, my, my relatives. Then now I came over to Australia and then now they all come over to Australia. So they all came to Australia, but in Samoa, um, my heart just always go to Samoa because most of the family, you know, they're not, you know, they can't come to Australia because they don't have any family here in, you know, Australia or, or New Zealand. But like um, others say, you know, we just are richest and the poor are poor. So, but me, no, I just want to, you know, equal. I just want to treat the same people. You know, they are all one family. So, and then that's what like uh, Asawa would just say, you know, I haven't been to Samoa, um, you know, since of this um, COVID, you know, but uh, when I went to Samoa, I had to take some clothes with me. I had to give it away, you know, even the, you know, even the hospitals. I went to the hospital and I said to myself, God, please, I really need to help these people because if you go to the, you know, to the hospital, you have to take your blanket, you have to take your, your pillowcase, you have to take everything. They ask you to provide all these things to, to the hospital. I say, yes. oh my goodness, I feel sorry for, you know, you know, for my country. And that's how Greece, you know, when I, when I saw this old blessing on, on Pastor, I say, well, no, you know, the other door closed, the other door opened. But now Ash McFarren, he's the one that he opened the door. As he said, you know, I've been born to save the world. He, he born to help the country and then help the, you know, the global. Thank you very much. All right, Brucey, unmute yourself, please. Yes, sir, Mr. Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. And again, Anand Horlofa. And uh, so, uh, <laughs> you look like big man, you linebacker. You know, one thing I know about your culture is you love talk mm. story and you love to eat, right? And you love to laugh and you love to love. Everybody to love, love everybody. One expression mm -hmm. I remember hearing a long time ago, because I had a Polynesian girlfriend many years ago at Abuhana. The Urahana is very big. And when you you tell one part of one thing, you tell the world, right? So everywhere around the world, Polynesian people everywhere. So what we're doing here is getting to know you. And I think when you called Chris, you were asking for help. How do I how do I do this? And that's the most important thing about um, oh, bless is how can we help each other? How can we help the world? How can we uplift the spirit of people? I heard many things about some always a very isolated area in the world, a very small country mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere. Gasoline, everything is expensive. I know the flood of the land. I know the missionaries did years ago, and everybody took their land. And, you know, one thing is that there's a very rich man named, uh, he owns Oracle, and he bought Kauai from Dole, who was a pineapple grower. It wasn't, he, and all he did was give work to the people. But if he can buy that island, one day through a bless. As you look at each other and you help each other, maybe one day you mm -hmm. can also buy some of the land too, which is really the way all this works. You never know, but all things are possible in this mm, world. Amen. But I want to. I want to also address the fact that you also have the need for education. You have a need for um, sure housing. These need for food because you, your food is very very expensive. He need all those things to help everybody there. So one of the things we ask here is how can we help the people? I'm sure your I'm sure your roads are okay. I don't think you're as worried about Papua New Guinea because you are very brilliant people and you're very mm -hmm. industrious and you're very mm -hmm. like Papa said, very family oriented. And if one part lays down, many people will help him come up. Yes. So what are the ways that you think we could help with Opal Bless in Samoa? Mm -hmm. Can you think specifically? I know that 
uh, the woman who was talking about board talks about education, and Asura talked about people needing more money. What other ways can we help you in our bless? One thing is very important to know that you are not alone and you have such a large family. You know, I know they call Las Vegas another island of, of, of pollination chain. So there's many polys out of this world who will be blessed by on passive and mm. hopeless in passive. So I want to encourage you to keep doing what you're doing and understand you're not trying to recruit anybody anymore. You're just going to tell them about what you have. If you feel like many people were burned by you before, tell them, I don't want you to do anything but just listen, be open to listen, and, let, and then just let them decide. Because this is this is a blessing, and this is the way we really bless yourself. Us two are our best people. All of you are Ohana. All of you are loved by each other. You are loved by all of us, and we're glad you're here. Thank you. Mahalo. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Brucey. Much appreciated. All right, Mr. Can you please unmute yourself with your question or your comment? Musharraf Hussain, Hussain. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much Brother for inviting me. You. And uh, very good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody, mm -hmm. all over the world. Uh, my voice is clear, Chris. I can hear you, brother. Okay, thank you. And first of all, thanks to Anna. You are really a very big heart, Anna, really. Because I'm just uh, seeing that all the Samoa people, those who stay from there, it's, uh, will give lots of love from in Samoa, mm -hmm. those who stay. And really, that's, uh, you are doing a great, great uh, work from all that people. And uh, as the own passive, if I'll say that's an old bless really the obelisk it's it's really a gift for us you know mm -hmm. in our own passive mm -hmm. every every founders those who uh think like that we are doing something our country uh something do our like uh, our neighbors and that uh, like uh, that type of uh, person those who uh, never have fought like as a financially and like uh or those who are facing a problem. So that's why we'll redevelop for the, our countries. So these are the way that Ashma Farah, we, they are giving me. And it's like, it's a very good opportunity before we are doing our planning for what uh, we are, have to do after that. So the best way we are doing our planning before, so that definitely we all over the world, we are together. But together means like all the founders together will do something better to our countries. So that, uh, so that's it's a small thing. I just uh, say that uh, all founders, all founders, definitely that's as say we are helping that country first. Those who are facing a bigger problem. So definitely we uh, think everywhere we support. We all the founders support and definitely we will help that people those who are uh, think something a little bit of uh, the better life they want so really i'll give the blesses all with the blesses everyone giving in and definitely this other situation we are seeing uh, in our life it's not only a samoa it's so many countries, they are facing a very bigger problem. So yeah. this is the thing we'll, with the lots of bless. And definitely once on passive launch, we do a planning, which is the better way we will help to the people. So thank you very much, Grace, mm -hmm. giving me a sharing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very thank much. You. Brother.
Nice to hear your voice. All right, my beautiful sister, she's back. Verona, please unmute yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much, so much for this great platform and this great opportunity. First, I want to say, Chris, kudos to you, okay? It's your heart that speaks. It's your heart that's joined us right here together. Amen. And with your heart like this, once we knit together, we can lift up humanity very easily. Mm. Once we knit together with a heart like this, we can replenish the land. We were created to replenish the land, one with our gifts and two with our talents and three with our hearts and four with our yeah. love. And when we replenish the land with those, just those four elements, we can do anything else, anything else. And it doesn't take a lot. But what it takes is for us to remind ourselves that we are not alone. Because oftentimes we tell ourselves that we are alone. And when we are alone, we stuck somewhere. But when we don't tell, when we convince ourselves that we are not alone, we can rise up. We can build, we can replenish the land. I want to say to Sister Anna, Aswa, and Laggy, and the other brother, thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up. Thank yourself for showing up. Because when you show up, you're not showing up for yourself. You're showing up for generations to come that will know your name. So thank yourself for showing up. Sister Anna, thank you for making that one phone call that was pressed on your heart. I'm not a heart doctor, but I know something about pressure on your heart and you have to release it. And that's what you did. You released that pressure off your heart and you made that phone call. Why? Because you were obedience to your inner man. You were obedience yes. to the spirit of God that was speaking directly to you. And when we are obedient, we will complete the assignment that is given to us. Like Ashmafar, there was an assignment on his life and he is obedient. And that is why we are here as a global family, an international family. So my dear sister, you have done well. You see, as I listen to you, I listen and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm relating everything that you are saying. And I'm thinking so much of my mom. My mom never made it past the fourth grade. The fourth grade, the fourth grade is a thing. And why? Because she had to raise her siblings. She had to step out of school to help raise her siblings. So we have similar stories. And when I listen, I just reflect on my mother and the sacrifice that she made. And we have to make sacrifice for our children, for our family, for our community. But at the end of the day, there are gonna be rewards. And that's what you did. That is what you did. And there's something about God. He's a promise keeper. There's something about God. He's faithful. There's something about God that says your dreams and your visions will never expire. Never expire. We went through chaos for the past three, four years with this pandemic. But what did God do? He reserved and preserved you. All of you in Samoa for such a time as this. Why? Because now is a time to replenish the land. Now is a time for a reward for the good that you spill out of your heart. And we all here did something from our heart. And God is pouring back into each and every one of us. 
what we let out. So my dear sister, let me encourage you and your little country. There's something called unpassive and it's like a magnet. Yeah. And it goes around the globe. Mm. Ding, ding, ding. And it finds you. And when you think you're so small, your little country is so small, your little island is so small, it found you. And when something finds you, what, what is yours? It is yours. They have a thing that says finders keepers. No, you belong to unpassive. Be encouraged and know that you, your brother, your sister, your entire island are stronger than you think you are. You are stronger. Don't ask God for strength. Know that God is your mm. strength. Yeah. And that goes for yeah. everyone that's sitting here. God is you. your strength. Ooh. Where'd you come out of? Where'd you come from? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you, wow. sister. It's powerful. It's yeah. so powerful. We have yeah. a lot of we have a lot of really powerful women in the past. So let me tell you. And I'm I gonna know. say it. Yes. I'm gonna say it. I think they outrank the men. I'm gonna say it. They they got some powerful, beautiful ladies in this family. So. All right, speaking of that, speaking of a powerful, beautiful lady, Dr. Benny, unmute yourself, my queen. <laughs> Whoa, Brother Chris. <laughs> Thank you That's so much for giving me this opportunity. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon to my brothers and sisters on this amazing webinar in different parts of the globe. I want to take this special moment to, first of all, thank those who have spoken before. I appreciate each and everything. I appreciate your comments and your question. Sister Anna, Brother Aswa, and Sister Ivy, I want to thank you all for the presentation and uh, you know, for the love that you have for your country, right? I noticed that the pop your population, this is really the smallest country. Of 2022, you have 222,382. Wow. All right. But anyway, um, I do have a comment and a question, if it is okay. Um, I just, I heard something about that the parents couldn't, um, they couldn't pay the school fees of their children because of lack of money. I, I want to take this more opportunity to, first of all, to thank our CEO uh, because uh, he saw the vision and he decided to create all these products, most importantly, all blessed because of what you guys are here and what you all need, oh bless, it's going to help. The children, when it comes to education, I love education. And it is very important for our children to educate their, themselves. Knowledge is power. When you educate yourself, you'll be able to help one another. Mm -hmm. Now, Brother Chris, by the way, you are an, an amazing brother. You were chosen by our CEO because of what you know and because of what he has seen mm -hmm. on you. Because, I mean, you love one another, especially <laughs> the way you say, hey, hey, hey. Anyway, Sister Anna or Sister Ivy, Based upon this, uh, since your country is very hidden, what do you think? What, are, what, what is the strength that you have, your country have? Uh, 
Your country Nani? is small, right? And it is yeah. hidden. To tell you the truth, I've never heard of this country. And I'm glad because of on passive, I'm able to know your country. And I believe that all of us, we are going to work together to make sure that your people will not suffer again. That's my thinking. That is my belief. And because you are on, on Pasivian, your people will enjoy, those children will enjoy as well. So what is the strength that your country has, please? Okay. Nahi, are you gonna add or you can want me to? Any one of you can answer that question. Uh, any, uh, Lagi, uh, Os, uh, I, I will call you A. <laughs> Samo? Yeah. Anyone? Asawa. Okay. Uh, the strength in my country, like other comments, uh, it's already brought up. Very, very close family people. Mm. Very tight family. Because of the uh, the low pay rate and parents can't afford. I have a sister, my older sister. She can't afford to, to pay the school fee of her kids. So all this time since I moved here in American Samoa, I'm the one that I put those, those kids in school. But now, it's still doing it. Um, like, uh, like, like other comments, uh, it's already brought up. The very, very strong family type. I know that's the strength of our country. And the Christianity that we, we build up the, in, in our community, because on Sunday, we don't, we all, we all go, go to church. If you come to Samoa on Sunday, Mostly stores are closed. All the business is closed. So and that shows that that's one of the strengths in our fam in, in our community of Samoa. Thank you so much. I do understand. Yes, that your strength. It, that that's good. I I, I respect you all, and uh, continue to work together. As we all know, we have yes. our father who created all of us in his image. He is going, that is why you guys are here and he is going to help you. You'll be fine. Your children will be okay because of all bless. Thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Can, I add, can I add on that, um, you know, um, what I was just saying? Certainly. Okay, about the strength, right? As I say that I've been brought up from Samoa, you know, with my nine... 10 siblings, little ones, step by step with one income. So, you know, what happened? You know, I just, my, my, I, I couldn't complete my, um, you know, my school. Because why? I had to look after this, my little ones, you know? So I didn't complete my school because I had to look after them my mom at work, earning money. But when she gets the, the, the pay for weekly, it's only 30, 30 tala. 30 tala. Can you imagine? 30 tala. That's a tala Samoa. 30, that's her income from the whole week. But mom, she walked from home about one, two, uh, three kilometers from home to up here, to where she works. You know, so now to me, when I've been, you know, starting to grow up and then I can think of myself and say, no, I had to do something to my mom, my parents, my siblings. So, and then that's how I um, came over to New Zealand, you know, 1981, and then I start work. So once I start work and then I have to start, start to bring my sibling one by one at the time for one person, just myself. Then after that, Everyone they all came to New Zealand, and then I had to come to no, I had to come to Australia. 
It's just to helping out my family, you know, especially my country. See, because now my family, they all over here now. So now I have to, you know, focus to some more. You know, especially those people that they don't have any relatives, you know, overseas. So I had to help them. You know, I sent some clothes. I sent some whatever I can have, but now they stop, you know, this sending, you know, thing over to Samoa because of the COVID. You know, so, but this is our heart because I know, you know, God created us, you know, for every purpose. Each one of us have a purpose from God. Amen. Amen. And then that's why, you know, we have to have, because that is the first commandment. We have to love the Lord our God as our love yourself. You know, that's so that's what we have to love one another. And then that's what I thank God, you know, for the unpassing, especially the man, S. McFarland. This is my first time on the panel. And even my people from Samoa, yes, you know, reflected themselves over here. First time ever. So that's Amen. what I had. God give me strength. God give me strength so I can fight for this. You know, just to say for my people, my family in Samoa, my country in Samoa, not only Samoa, but my heart is in African as well, PNG as well, the whole, the whole country. And then that's my passion for how many years I've been, God, when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? So now, it's happened now. Even if we, you know, can't see it real, you know, as a reality, but it is. By my spiritual, you know, yes. And this is the blessing, one of Abraham's blessings, you know, through um, Ash McFarland. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Anna. By the way, my condolence. May your mommy's soul rest in perfect peace. She is yes. watching over you, ma'am. She is. Oh, no. Yeah. Thank you. It's okay. Love you. Love you too. You know, because mom, she was mentioned about unpassive last year. I said, Mom, don't worry. When the unpassive happened, I will buy your units. I will buy you blah, blah, blah. And I said, daughter, I'm waiting. I am waiting. So now she's gone now. But, you know, that's my heart always with Mom. Huh? But it's all right. Everything's so good. But now I can see the blessing from Mom and my dad. My dad passed away in New Zealand when I was there in the room. He was asking, where's Anna? Where's my daughter? I want to talk to her before I leave. So I went into the room and then said, daughter, thank you for bringing me over back, you know, from America to New Zealand. You know, when I had my second child, she was just born that same day and then I had to leave and then go over and bring mom, my dad from America. So I went over from mom, dad back, you know, to America and he passed away there. And he said, daughter, thank you so much for bringing me over from America to New Zealand. God bless you. You know, so this is the blessing. I start to receive blessing from God through my parents. Even my mom, she passed away, you know, this year. I was there. But she blesses me, my siblings, my family. So we have no, I have no other parents now. But now I just thank God for the opposite to come along while I'm in, you know, this situation. But once again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. We thank God for everything. It's all right. Dr. Benny. All right. Let's give Anna a couple seconds, guys. Uh, Richard Lemuth, go ahead. Lamont, excuse me. Go ahead, my brother. Gotcha. <laughs> I love all you beautiful men, women, and children of the world from the bottom of my heart. Well, I hope somebody's I hope somebody's uh, keeping a record of uh, what I say because uh, there goes another one of my founders' position for Samoa. So I hope somebody's writing that down <laughs> so that I can remember where to bless. <laughs> oh my God Almighty! There's another. Papua New Guinea, called Samoa, my Lord Almighty. It's so sad to hear, Anna, that you couldn't stay in your in Samoa, that you actually had to leave Samoa with, your, with all your siblings to survive. That is shameful. But if you look around, the whole world is shameful. 
because the whole world is suffering right now. And even the rich country, the poor countries, everybody is suffering. But there is one thing that really warms my heart. And it's how Samoa people live, Papua New Guinea people live. They share their family. It doesn't matter if you're a sibling or a stranger, you're family. So everybody works with everybody. And it makes my heart glow because we were all given that heart from God full of love and we're finally able to share that love. You know? <laughs> Verona, you really blew my head. <laughs> you too, Dr. Benny, with your nice, beautiful smile. But, you know, so you make sure that Chris or uh, Lynn there, that you write that down there. That's another one on my list there for all bless. Uh, my founder's position. Make sure that these, uh, these people uh, have a way. Maybe, maybe I know, maybe you'll be able to have your own airplane and travel back and forth. <laughs> you never know. But at least we'll be able to buy some uh, blankets and some pillows for those hospitals. That's one place we can start. So I leave you all that with a big kiss and a big hug to all of you. And thank you for listening to me. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate your words. I'm looking more like uh, build build the uh, brand new hospitals because I think a lot of country needs those. I can I can bring anyone a pillow or a blanket, which is a, a nice gesture. But we got to think bigger. We really do. Uh, not for ourselves either. For these other people. So, um, and I'm getting a lot of texts just to let you know, Anna, and uh, the rest of the Samoan family here that they want to help, they want to get in, they want to get their hands dirty. So just to let you know, I'm going to apologize right now in front of everybody. I'll take the blame. How did we miss Samoa? It's not going to happen again. I, I, I apologize, we missed you. Now I got to work three times as hard because I really want to get, because you guys are all so cuddly, you know? You're all cuddly people. I agree with Robin, very nice people. All right. Now, she's already crying. I shouldn't even call her. Tina J from Singapore, go. Come on out. Unmute. Uh oh, no, I'm not going to let you speak. <laughs> Come on, Tina. My my <laughs> my computer is only my blank, so I, I didn't know it was my turn to speak or not. But thank you so much, um, Captain and John. Hey, Chris. Johnson, angel, you're my angel. And you're everyone's angel, no bless. Um, Anna, um, Asua, um, everyone else from Samoa. Hey, it rhymes. <laughs> I love you all. And, um, and I think all of us here love Samoans as well. And um, we just, uh, I just want to say that um, Anna, um, from the heart, from the mind to the body, that you are the light, you are the creativity to, to give that light out, and you are the blessing to others. That's what my, my heart, I mean, we all say body, mind, uh, soul, but to me, it's heart, mind, and body, it's the other way around, because it has to come in from that light in your heart before you can even think of anything that you want to. So we are blessed with that heart that's beating sometimes very high, sometimes very slow. Um, I, I've got that lower one because of probably um, being, a, uh, being a premature baby and also probably being a flatliner for once. And But I know, I know that what you are doing now is such radiance that everyone here and everyone in the world on the YouTube channel listen, hear you, see you, wanting to touch you. And, and of course, um, Richard, uh, like Richard as well, uh, there are probably many, many foundations that's going to Samoa, including mine as well. Um, I love you, my Anna, 
you have lost your mom, you have lost your dad, and so have I. But now you are taking that role up as the mother of all Samoans. And with your strength, Samoa will be rich again. Definitely. Don't forget, everyone, that we have that old bless button in the old wallet. Just click on it. We will all be there. Hospitals, schools, whatever you need. All right? We're there for, with you. Heart, mind, and body. I love you. Asua, uh, everyone here, Florence as well. That's all I want to say. Thank you. Thank you for letting me speak, Chris. Thank you, Tina. Always wonderful to hear you. Can you feel that love out there, Samoa? We're not coming. We're here. Uh, we're going to be here for you guys, Tina. Thank you very much. I've been waiting for Jean to get on here. I've seen she asked a question a long time ago. I'm like, in my, me and Jean have telepathy. I'm going, Jean, raise your hand, answer, ask the question, raise your hand. And there she is at work. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm a mind reader. <laughs> Go ahead, Jean. Well, actually, Tina set set up what I'm about to say perfectly. Uh, first, uh, Anna, is it, um, uh, 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 oh, I just lost, uh, Asawa uh, and Yuni. Um, I'm so glad to have met you. I'm so glad to have learned a little bit more about your incredible country and your incredible people. Um, but let's get down to brass tacks. You have a big task ahead of you, right? And you know on passive is, is going to be coming to, 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 um, to be a vehicle to solve all of these concerns in, in your country. And so now because it's such a big task it, it can be overwhelming it can be just like there's so much where do i start so right now before uh, obless is launched get a notepad out and start writing down every single solitary thing that is is less than ideal in your country food hospitals um you know education everything just get it all down and then start to flesh it out because as soon as you start to write down all of these needs ideas will come to you and then those that is the the uh, the skeleton from which you can create a post on obless and then once you get that posted your country's needs posted on obless like tina said every time we go into our back office and and commissions come in we can just click that button and send it to someone and i am i'm so excited because I, I i was crying earlier i got all my tears out and now i'm just excited because I, your country is very small and it's not going to take very long we're 1.4 million strong you know each of us gives a buck and you have millions of dollars to solve the concerns in your country and i am i am nothing but excited for you and your family and i cannot wait to meet meet you all in person and visit your beautiful country and or, you know buy up get get that start scouting out land in your country start scouting out buildings scouting out things that that could serve as hospitals envision it now so that when the funds come in it's just the, the logical next step to, to purchase the land, to do whatever you need to do. I'm so excited for you all, and I'm so glad to have met you today. Thank you, Chris, for bringing them. Bye. You, Dean. <laughs> all right. We, we just might get out of here by 11 o'clock today. It's quarter two. We've got four hands up left. Uh, definitely want to call out this guy because he's a cool cat of mine. Mr. Harold, come on out there. Good evening, everyone. Um, Chris, I so look forward to your show every week. You just amaze me with the people you bring on. I am so touched. I never knew anything about Somalia. But now I'm, <laughs> I will find out a lot more about it. And Anna, I admire your courage to come on and share with us the things that we as um, passive, um, passive, I can't pronounce that. We as um, um, passive people are 200, over 200 strong around the world in various countries. You are added to that 200 plus. You have come to the right place. And every time that I come to, um, I'm not gonna cry, okay? Forget that, okay? But I'm so touched, my heart is so touched. 
And Mark, I mean, um, Chris, you made a statement about the ladies. We have some beautiful, powerful ladies here in Unpassive. And I'm proud to be, I should say, I'm blessed to be amongst them. Thank you, ladies. And um, just thank you for letting me share. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Harold. Uh, and let me do, we have Samoa and Soma, is it Somali. Is that how you pronounce it? There, a lot of people get mixed up, but we're, it's, it's spelled S O M. Oh my goodness. Spell it for me. S O M A A. Samoa, Chris. Samoa. Samoa. S O M A. Spell it, Robin. S S A M O A. That's yes. what I thought. <laughs> I do that to, to make sure Robin's paying attention. Robin is my spelling corrector. Spelling isn't your strong point, eh, Chris? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Harold, Harold, uh, listen, this isn't me, guys. I, honest to God, the last few months I've been getting lucky where, you know, I put it out if you got something. Just the right people are, are messaging me. I still have a lot more that I haven't got to yet, but I will. But it's nothing that I'm doing. All I'm saying is, hey, come on, oh, bless I've done nothing. These, these are the hidden gems that I'm talking about. Once again, we found a country that we, we drove right by. Not, I, I, that's unacceptable to me. It's unacceptable to me. We're missing. Listen, every time we miss something like this, there's, well, there, I'm going to say there's 300,000 people who might have never heard of Unpassive. And I got a few brave souls there. Anna, she brought some about Florence. Saying, hey, hey, what about us? Oh, no, I don't forget anybody. So I'm real happy this is going on, Harold. But I really haven't done All I am is a host of the show. Are you Chris, I, disagree, I, I disagree with you. When <laughs> those people call you, you listen and bring them on the show. As simple as that. You do do something very important. Thank and you, I you, admire Harold. you for that. Thank you, Harold. I appreciate that. And right back at you. All right, before I start blushing. Yvonne Muba, please unmute yourself. I know this lady. Weren't you just in the hospital, Yvonne? Is this the same lady? Yes, it's me. How I, you I'm feeling? How you feeling? Uh, a little better, but it, it will get better as the days go by. Okay, glad to hear your voice. Glad to hear your voice. Yes, I, and I am so happy to be on here because I missed it last week, and I'm glad to be on here. I just want to thank everybody, and thanks to my uh someone brothers and sisters Anna I so much resonate with everything that you've said and you just look so much like my Samoan friend that we graduated from the Power Voice Academy together all what you have said I've seen it on her look at the beautiful flower on your head she wears that everywhere she sings we are in a group where she will be singing and now they put her as the singing lady to open our group all the time she's very hardworking. She is a, a co-author of mine. We uh, co-author the Women of the Power Voice to help especially the youths and women, everybody, but more so the youths in the world. That is such a powerful thing. You talked about education. I was just crying, weeping with tears of joy because education saved my life. I was in a place where no 11 year old should be made to be. Yvonne, you muted yourself. Muted yourself. Oh, did I? There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, what I was saying is that education saved my life. I was in a place where no child should ever be made to visit at 11 years old. And I was determined to get that education under thick and thin, and I got it. And that is why I am here today. You know, the, the greatest book of wisdom says, when you ask, you will be given. When you seek, you're going to find it. And when you knock, all the doors of opportunity will be open unto you. I thank God for Ashma Farah. I thank God for all of us here because without this, I don't know where I will be. I come from this little village where it is so difficult to get, give children an education. They give mostly the boys 
because they think that the boys will then help to support the girls. And therefore we lag behind in education and in a lot of things. I am together with you. I'm not gonna talk that much. This story will be for another time. I am together with the summer ones. And under any condition, I will contribute, especially towards education and the upbringing of any child. I will contribute. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank I'm you, glad that you're doing better. Doing better. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. May I speak when I speak when 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 I like to I like it. Yeah, Anna, go ahead, Anna. Go ahead, Anna. <laughs> I'm very good with, I'm the, very pen, good with the pen, but I'm so but scared I'm so to get scared on the screen. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Not the hey, we're having a lot of echo here. What's going on with that? I got it, David. <laughs> David, it was Yvonne. I got her. You. We woke him up, everyone. My goodness, David. We woke him up. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Anna. Okay, thank you. Um. I have to speak because <laughs> she won't forgive me if I didn't. Anna Samu is my front line. I shared on passive with her. And uh, I'm so proud of her that she's come on and done this. Uh, I, I'm originally from Singapore. I am Chinese and uh, I just didn't have the courage to speak up and come on, you know, the panel. I don't know why. <laughs> I should speak up. So, Anna Samu, <laughs> I made it anyway. <laughs> and um, I will try and do it, you know, another time as well. So, I appreciate what Anna's done. And she's like my sister now. We, we live in. Um, not very far. She lives in Brisbane and I'm on the borderline of the Gold Coast and New South Wales. So um, I, uh, in July 2020, I was looking for something because I've given up on everything else. And a, 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 a good business associate shared with me on passive, but then he didn't really follow me up. So I went and did my homework and I found Mike Ellis, and then I found On Passive Nation, and then th there I am. I didn't want to miss out, so I decided, you know, this is what I needed, and this was what going to change our lives. And believe me, my 40-year-old son is still pushing me away and said, Mom, don't poke me. I don't know what he meant by that, because, you know, I until you can show me the proof that, you know, what you're saying is true, just I can't handle it anymore. So <laughs> there I am. I don't know how to say it, but I've gifted him his first founder position when he turned 40 on the 15th of October. And OPLES is a wonderful platform for everybody around the world to do good. And my life has changed a lot. I live brief on passive. So my life is on passive, on passive. And because we live down under in Australia, our time is totally upside down. You know, I don't get enough sleep. <laughs> I wake up the wrong time. But it does a lot of good for our soul. Honestly, you know, I, I just on passive, on passive, on passive. And I now have a huge global family that we all have a huge global family. And you can always, you know, turn on the internet and, and actually chat with someone. There's always somebody there for us. Isn't this wonderful? So I thank you all. I appreciate you giving me the opportunity. I couldn't find the hand. So I thought I'm desperate. I have to speak. <laughs> and I love you all. I know all of you. I've always been in the background watching, listening. But I just couldn't have the guts to come on the panel <laughs> often enough to speak. So I'm so, so glad. Thanks for the opportunity. God bless. Anna, Anna, I want you to look, look at yourself. You got any holes in your body? There's no arrows, no sticks. 
no rocks. It doesn't hurt. You did it. You see, it was painless, wasn't it? And you did a really good job. Thank you for coming out on the old bless show. Because you know what? You signed up a rock star named Anna. You seen something. I know. Else, so. I know. Work together, we stay see. strong with each other, but don't be afraid to speak out. You got a voice. Hey, listen, God gave us all a voice and some lips and some lungs. And you just did it and you didn't, you don't look nervous. Uh you, you're you're gorgeous, you're glowing. Keep doing that, lady. <laughs> Keep doing it. Thank you. Thank Anna. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. I love you all. We love you too. All right. As of course always happens, I say, I shouldn't even say we're going to get done early. All right, Mr. Vitell Smart, my brother, who I'm really loving this guy lately. Come on out there, buddy. Unmute your, unmute your mic, Mr. Vistel. Hey, co-host, please do not pull their hands down. Okay. Until after right. they're done I, talking, because you're I not see it now. I see now. Okay. Can you hear me now? <laughs> we can. We can hear you. Oh, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, Chris, for having me on this um, platform here tonight. I mean, uh, you're a big man with a big heart, and I. I really look forward, looking forward to working with you to improve everything we do here. And Anna, after listening to your story, Chris just mentioned that you are a rock star. I say uh, we're going to owe nine to you, the ambassador for your country. Because the way you speak about what's going on in your country and, and uh, I forget about tears. Tears are going to flow, but you know it's it's happy tears because you're here tonight. I we help is on the way, and I've I'm one of your fans right now. I put my phone number in the forum for in the chat for you to. If you can't, if you don't see it, you know get it from Mr. Chris Johnson, and I'm I will be there for you. But I, I, I remember the um, the song that says you're at the right place at the right time. And uh, I remember there's an insurance company that says you are in good hands with you are in good hands with Obless this time. I also remember another. There is a I'm from I'm from Jamaica in the Caribbean, and there is a a reggae artist by the name of Bob Marley. He says. One love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. He says that. And he says again, don't worry about a thing. It's because everything is going to be all right. And um, I'm here to say I'm I'm from a when I heard your when I hear your story, I'm I'm from a big family of 14, 14 siblings, 14 of us. A whole football team, <laughs> and um, I remember my my dad passed away when I was about twenty years old, and then I became the the son and the brother and the husband. And my mom is is living not too far away from me now. She's ninety six years old. Mom survived it, and. I still go look for her. She plays dominoes and she do her crossroad puzzle. And I see her survive. And um, Anna, you, you will survive. Your country will survive. And we'll be here for you. And um, I see the your population is over 205,000. You know, I mean, we um, we are in a mission here. We are on a mission that is possible. And we know that when we join hands and heart together in this, in this platform that they call Oh Bless, we're coming for you. We're coming for you. And we know that, like my mom, you know, when when she was growing us up, you know, she taught us to be kind and loving and and I, I saw her sometimes going through hardships and tears, but she never gave up. 
And you never gave up because you pick up that phone and call Chris and you're here right now being ninety as a rock star in my book. And I, I want you to know that, you know, this platform is going to be here for you. Everybody in this platform is going to be here for you and your country. I I remember a friend of mine just called me last week from Jamaica and she told me about the same medical condition in the hospitals there. You know, people got to bring their own sheets and beds spread to the hospital. And she was there as a patient. And I said, you know, God put you there for a reason. He put you there to see the condition so that nobody have to explain it to you. And so we, I know your pain, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've gone through it. I, we survive, everybody here is, everybody is here to help. We're here to give you a helping hand and with God's help, you know, it will come true. My, my phone number is in the, in chat, you know, and like everybody. Tell you muted yourself to tell. I tell you, muted yourself. There you go. Okay. Anna, one of my favorite fruits is mangoes. I'll be, I'll be there to eat some mangoes with you. <laughs> All right. So take care. God bless. And Chris, thank you, sir. Thank you, my brother. All the love to you, my man. Yeah. Good guy. Get, let me tell you something. You want to get to know a real good guy? Get in contact with Vitell. He's uh, as calm and professional on the phone as he is on these webinars. He's a, he's a true guy. I love him to death. So, okay. Of course, Leon jumped on there. Now, okay, that's all right. We'll keep going. I know you all don't like when I sleep for three days. That's okay. All right. I'm not even going to try to say your name. I'm just going to call you Papu. India, come on, man. There's no way I can say that name. I know it. Hi, Chris. Hi, buddy. How you doing today? Yeah, I'm very happy to be here, here. And ma'am, and all the great leaders, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm very happy to be here, to share some thoughts here. Very, very happy to be here. It's a great community. I'm very, very happy. I'm feeling it's our family. Uh, everyone's feelings can be shared here. here. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, and press who makes everyone's uh, wishes with good vision and with a good intention can be fulfilled here. So my, I'm very happy. It's a, a great opportunity to everyone uh, to share their feelings. Uh, so it's a really a great family. By God's grace, only uh, we all gathered here. So uh, his blessings are always with us. We have many uh, other problems or something. Uh, everyone is having something. Uh, so in every situation we have, Oh, he is with us. Um, the divine power is always with us. So I always thank God. Uh, so everyone's lives will be better and better. Everyone's needs will be fulfilled soon. Very happy. We have Ancasio. We have Ash. Uh, uh, his great uh, heart. Uh, so every, we all gathered here because of his great powerful thought and because of his great intention with great feelings. So we are gathered here in on passive. So every product and uh, especially hopeless and all uh, all um, with all the products uh, um, he's going to release uh, will give us uh, more and more power to be financially fit and make uh, uh, help and give a happy hand to all the needy. So we all are blessed here by his grace only. So I thank God all the time. Thank you for making all of us part of this great massive community. Very happy. Chris and Marty, Red, Lynn, ma'am, and all the great leaders. I always follow those wars and follow to be an active member and listen to some wars. We can learn some uh, good good thoughts and how to uh, feel, you know, ourselves, how to be ourselves, to be grateful. I'm very happy. Thank you, Ash and Chris, and all the great leaders for giving me this opportunity. It's really... Thank you. Oh, you got, you muted yourself, Papu, but thank you. Pap, you muted, Papu. All right, just give me thumbs up. I love you. <laughs> Where'd you go? Uh, Roy, Roy Davies, come on. I'm here yourself. 
Oh, hello, Chris. Hey, Hi, hey, brother. You oh, doing great. Thank you for bringing me on. And uh, before I get to Anna, I want to thank uh, our Commissioner John Barillo for leading us and showing us the way to how to be a good guardian. And I appreciate him so much. I appreciate all our brothers and sisters of the family here for the heart that they have. And coming down to Anna, I feel your heart, sister, because I walked in the same, down the same road that you have walked down. And USA, I knew it was a much better place than other countries like Samoa and a lot of other countries where people don't have clean drink of water and food and everything, but I see your heart where uh, you didn't leave your family in, in, in tough shape. You were willing to help them and to bring them up along with you. So God is behind you, behind all of us. Only thing we have to do is just try to believe it. And, and we can achieve it. And 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 I got ch really choked up when you was talking about the things that you went through because I've been down the same road and tears started rolling down my eyes because I was thinking of the times that I don't went through too. And just look up, sister, because you know what? We done made it. Right now, your bank account is a cr increasing every day. It ain't like waiting to build a bank account. On passive is here. Thank for the heart that Mr. Ashmafar has to help all of us. And I really appreciate him so much, dearly. And I know it's hard to commit to something that never yet come to pass yet. But that's my goal in life because I've spent so many years trying things, trying things, trying things so I can make it better for my family. And I knew I had a calling in life. I believe I had a calling in life because I could have been left this world about four times now, but I'm still here, you know, for God's grace. And I, I, I thank him. And when on passive launches, I get all my apples in my basket filled when my family and stuff are situated. And I start traveling the road, taking care of the people that I have met years back, take care of them. And the countries that need, like your country and other countries, I'm going to be there. I might not be in all of them, but I'm going to be in some of them. So I just want to say I, I, I appreciate your heart. And I know when on passive, do what they're gonna do. You're gonna help your family, you're gonna help your friends, you're gonna help other people that need in your country because that's your heart. And I appreciate you, hon. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Mr. Roy Davies. Very good. Can you feel the love, Anna? Can you feel the love from these guys and gals? Woo. All right, Dave Johnson, the rugby, the rugby player, if I read it right earlier. Come on out here, Dave. Nice to meet you, brother. Good, thanks for having me on here. Much appreciated. I just wanted to say I, I was lucky enough to work in Australia many years ago uh, with uh, a whole heap of uh, Samoan people. I played rugby against Samoan people. They are genuinely uh, the most kind-hearted, beautiful, giving people you ever meet. Um, in, they enrich your life just actually knowing them. Um, and it is, listening to Anna just speaking today, it just goes to show um, her heart is so full and so um, wanting to give, but at the same time, she needs to receive the love that we can give her as well. Um, and as I said, Samoa is a beautiful place with beautiful, beautiful people that will literally give you the shirt off their back uh, when they've got nothing themselves. Uh, and I think this is a perfect opportunity for all blessed to step in and really, really help these people out, really help them out. Also, I'd like to say very quickly that it's been mentioned a few times here. The, the women of On Passive are amazing, absolutely amazing. Uh, Verona, um, I had chills running up and down my body listening to you speak. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And Anna, I got some dust in my eye when you were speaking. It was uh, I had to keep removing the dust out of my eyes. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. 
Nice, Dave Johnson. Where'd you come out of? Where'd up you come from, Dave? I've been sitting in the background for uh, over a while now. Hey, Time hey, to come you. out. Hey, listen, listen. No more under the rocks. No more in the closets. Get your butts out here. Talk about a passive, because eight billion people are going to be looking for you, Dave Johnson. Are you going to be under that rock? No, no. you're not. I, I just have always sort of sat back and, and, and listened to what people have got to say um, and gathered from that. But I, I just woke up this morning and I thought, oh, come on. See what well, you got, a, you got a very nice speaking voice. You're a handsome guy. Perfect example of a passive founder. Get out there and talk about it, Dave. They're waiting for you. Trust me. There's people that are hungry for your knowledge that you have about a passive. Don't be afraid to tell them. Look at Anna. Look what Anna did. Chris, is this Chris? No. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate you. All right. Pick a job, Patel. Come on out, India. Unmute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kit Johnson. I'm very, very happy this uh, morning. Everyone, good morning, panelists. And uh, uh, please, Johnson, Len. Very, very grateful. I'm, my, my name is Pankaj Patle from India. Uh, very uh, on, on passive proud founders. Uh, I'm very happy to you, you invite me. Very, very thanks, uh, Johnson. Hey, 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 hey. Johnson, very, very solid. Thank you, thank you. Hey, we, you need practice. It's hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. Appreciate you. All right, Leon Holiday. You are, I well, I thought there was two more hands, but Leon, go ahead, my brother. Unmute yourself. Nice to see you, buddy. Hello, everyone. Um, thanks uh, for having me on. And um, I just want to let everybody know I'm always in the background somewhere. I, I'm that type of person. I, I like to follow when I need to follow and like to lead when I need to lead. And I also like to follow because I need to learn. I need to learn from everyone. I'm not that person to know it all. I just need to learn. When you need to follow, you need to follow. When you need to learn, you need to learn. When you need to lead, you need to lead. And I listen to everybody and I, I'm that type of person. I, I try to only speak when I can give information that was helpful, a, a, you know, wisdom. And uh, I want, I worked in the Coachella Valley before I retired, I was in charge of the entire infrastructure out there from the Salton's, from the windmills to the Salton Sea. I had like 1,200 miles of sewer, 38 lift station staff of 200 people. And I used to empower my staff. Just, I listened to everyone. I gave everybody uh, information to make informed decisions. I, I delegated everything. I made sure people knew what I knew. I didn't try to hold anything back. And I remember Mr. Ashman Farr say, bigger the team, bigger the dream, bigger the dream, bigger the team. And to accomplish what we need to accomplish, we need a big team. And we all dreaming for the big things. And uh, like I say, I don't, I don't profess to know anything more than anybody else. But when I, I like to give information, when I need to give information or learn and, and just help, you know, from learn from everybody and every time i hear people talk on this whole entire thing i learn i'm learning from like engineer mike there i've been learning from him for a long time you know we all because like i say i told him before when you're an engineer you ain't just an engineer you a scientist you do everything because we are our brain are wired a certain way we are wired a certain way to look at things and try to figure it out and i saw Habitat for Humanity build three houses in one day. I mean, the backhoe dug the foundation, the men laid the rebar in the foundation, the truck backed up there, and they formed everything. They built the forms, poured the cement, they put all the U-boats in, and they framed the house. And each person that was wiring the house, you know, like when you wire a house, you need a you have a home run. The home run goes from, uh, let's say, the garbage disposal in your house. And that home, that's one home run goes all the way back to the meter box. If you're doing an arc circuit for the bedrooms, that one home run goes to the bedrooms, go all the way back. And each guy was grab his home run and run with it. 
And when the, by the end of the day, that house had carpet on the floor. I mean, literally the baseboards was up, the carpet was on the floor and the, the drywall, you know, in the desert is really hot. They put this 10 second mix, 20 second mix in the drywall mud and they were just thrown on the wall and a few minutes, those walls were ready to sand. And by the end of the day, they were putting furniture in the house and giving the families the keys to those house. I see oh bless the same way. I see because we have the people, we have everybody just ready to go. We have the people, we have the, uh, you know, you can call up a project in any country and, and whatever, you got a project and we are ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to lead. I'm ready to follow. I'm ready to do whatever it takes. And when I first got into oh, uh, on passive, I was thinking just only water and wastewater, only water, water treatment. I've done so much more. <laughs> and I, I, I've done so much more than being an unpassive. I've, you know, I'm ready to go wherever I'm assigned to go. If Chris say, I want you to go here, I want you to help out here, I'm ready to go. That's that's who I am about. I'm not about me. I'm about the project. I'm about who, who's on the project, you know, working with anybody on the project. And um, that just kind of the way, way life is. And I just want to let people know I am so glad to work with my brothers and sisters all around the world. And I'm so glad to be part of a diverse community. And, and like they said, there's a, if you have more of a diversity in the workplace, you have more creativity, you have more, um, uh, you have more pro productivity as well. And, and like I said, we're just all waiting for the, for the, the, we like the, the racehorse at the line. We all just waiting for the, the bell, the, the ring, so we can just uh, charge out. And so I just want to let you people know, I may not be present all the time, but I'm in the background hovering, you know, cause I want to give some, I want to, I want other people to shine. I want other stars. I don't want to be the one that talking all the time. I want other people to be ready to, to go. You know, say, because just by that, just you learn about, you hear all this other talent. I mean, you hear a lot of talent and it's crazy how much talent out there and, uh, and how we are, how all of us together on this uh, platform. And uh, again, like I say, everybody knows Julie. Julie is the, one of the best leaders out there. I mean, she's awesome. I mean, Chris, I see the things that you are doing and, and, and you guys are Lynn and I mean, the, I mean, I just see so much going on. I see Engineer Mike. I mean, we all just giving. Cynthia is everywhere. Cynthia Brown. She never wastes a, a minute telling people, hello, happy birthday. I mean, I see her. I mean, everywhere. She's lighting people up. She's lining people up. She's brightening people. Think about that. I never had that in my entire life until I come to unpass it. And that's what I just want to say. Yeah. Wow. What did you eat today, Leon? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. Appreciate it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to call it Julie next, but Manu, I seen you add your hand up twice. I see you're still on here. If you still want to talk, you can. Uh, Julie, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hi. Thank you, Chris. Uh, no, I honestly think that, Leon, you're too humble. Uh, he has so much wisdom and uh, when he was working on the sewage, uh, you know, water waste and all that, that he has, he has so much knowledge. I think you have like the most licensed in, in that. Unmute yourself, Leon. You have yeah, so one much. Time I, was the, I was one of the, the most multi-certified person in the whole state of California. I yes. had I have uh, I had twelve licenses at one time, state license. This is where you have to study, have an exam, and you have to actually pass these exam. And at the same time, I had the probably the, the number one person in all the state of California. And I didn't do it to brag. I didn't do it. I did to get a pay raise. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. But he has a lot of wisdom. So anyone's that looking forward to you know in that that realm, you know. Um, it's good. It's good. I just, I just think you're too humble, Leon, and I, I appreciate all your support from everywhere behind the scene that what you're doing. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much, Leon, for coming on and, and, and speak about it. But you're you're awesome. Thank you. Really when? Yes. Okay. Now I just seen my funny guy Armin pop his hand up. Manu, I'm gonna call you uh call you out again. If you want to speak, I seen you had your hand up twice. Uh let me know. Put your hand up. Uh, Armin, do you want to say something? There's a bunch of people unmuting because someone hit the unmute all button. Oh. So I'm, I'm muting them quietly, just so you know. So oh. everybody know you were not meant to be unmuted. It was a mistake. Okay, oh. thank you, Lynn. All right. Yes, uh, I noticed that myself. I just want, oh, go ahead. Uh, John? Armin, Armin, go ahead. You're muted, brother. You are muted, Armin. I'm muted again. And uh, Chris, stop calling me Goathead, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to thank Leon. Man, that's incredible. I can't do anything like that, but I wish I had a trade. All I used to do was sort mail and the post. I guess I can't go anywhere and sort Christmas cards or something, but that's outstanding, man. I'm telling you, I'm proud of you. And... Uh, I'm sure we all are. And I lost my train on why I had my hand up to thank you. But uh, hey, that's okay. Uh, love you all. Take care of Leon. If it comes back to me, I'll come back. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, that was. Uh... Thank you, Armin. It's not coming back to you. All right, Manu. All right, she was just there. Manu, like, what are you, abracadabra, or hocus pocus or something? Get back on here. Hold on, Mama Do. I want to let this lady go first because I don't know if she's having internet problems or she just likes messing with me. Manu, where are you at? I can't say anything interesting after those beautiful people talking testimonials. So I'm just grateful. I feel blessed and I look forward for this to glorify on passing. Thank you. Love you all. Ooh, that was good. What, what are you talking about? It was very good. Way to go, Manu. See all that messing mm -hmm. around you? See, this is, listen, folks, if you want attention from old Big Ed here, that's how you do it. You keep appearing, disappearing, appearing, disappearing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. My favorite worker at the last hand of the evening, Mr. Mama Do. And he's driving, of course. Driving or working, one of the two. Come on, Mama Do. Let's hear you. Yes. Oh, my captain. Good evening to you all. Oh. <laughs> you know, um, I just want to thank um sister hannah you know for being the angel of samoa you know um this is what we need to do all the founders founders supposed to be the angels of their country you know that's the only way we can eradicate the poverty that our ceo wants us to eradicate if every founder represents his or her own country after you start with your family, you go to your community, and then you take up the whole country. That's how we address. And I'm so proud and appreciative to Miss, Miss Sister Hannah for come up with this initiative, you know. That's the only thing, I mean, Captain Chris. I'm heading home now from job. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Ju. Okay. Thank goodness. Woo. Well, we almost got it done by 11, a little after 11. First of all, I want to thank all of you for coming. All the speakers. I personally want to thank Anna and the Samoa team that came out here, Florence. My goodness. Yes. I'm going to remember all your names. There's a guy, there's a real big guy with the name of A. I'm going to call him Big A for Big Apple. That's what I'm going to say. But all of you, <laughs> uh, where's the loggy? If I missed you, I apologize. Uh, thank you to all the co hosts. Real quick, let me get my computer on. Brucey e. Gerstein, Engineer Mike, John Barilla, Julie Wen, Lynn Nakamoto, Lister T. I think I got everybody. And I want to thank Daryl Cook, who writes all the notes. I know Janet Butler was texting me. She could be doing it too, but I always appreciate those guys. Listen, Samoa, we're here to help you. See, you got a lot of love. I do want to recommend, because I know what time you guys are, you're like Australia, New Zealand, Perth times. I think Yvonne Mackett's on here. 
if you would like, they have a webinar on Thursdays. Uh, Yvonne, are you still on here, Yvonne? I am here. Hello. Sorry. I've Yvonne, been writing to them actually in the background. I've been writing to them personally um, to invite them over. Because I thought about you guys. I know Narelle's on a, a, a walkabout right now and uh, you guys are taking a little break, but get uh, Yvonne probably sent you some information, Anna, where it's your time zone. You're always welcome here, no matter what, but you got to get, I know hours you're keeping, but I know Narelle and Yvonne, uh, the Kiwi guy, do a really good show with third. What time Thursday is it, Yvonne? Your time? Um, we've got a new time, um, Thursday. Um, so we've invited, I've actually sent them an uh, email. No, okay. sorry, I've sent my email to them in the chat. If they could just go back and I've sent it to Anna, Anna, and Asua. Asua, um, in the chat. Hopefully they can find it. Otherwise, find me at yvonnemacket at gmail.com and I will send all the information. But it's 6.30, I think it's 6 o'clock, actually, um, the new time. So, but it's for founders only and it's for Aussies and New Zealanders. And what, because we've only got a space for 100, we've got Michael Williams coming on. So um, we've got to do that first because we've got to really try and help the Aussies and New Zealanders and everyone else here. And then we can let in others afterwards. Absolutely. So I hope you understand. <laughs> that's okay. But just, just know, Anna, that we're, we're I'm trying to fit you in a time zone that's good for all of you. I know yeah. you guys are in that era, but uh, Yvonne and Narell, very, very great founders. And I'm going to bet, I'm going to bet if you have some uh, Samoans that want to come rock party and learn all about a passive, I'm going to bet Yvonne and Narell will do a special open up for everyone uh, founders meeting just to give you help. I will show up if that happens. And yeah, I know you guys, these, these two ladies are phenomenal, but I personally want to thank you, Anna, for doing, uh, for, for the courage to, and, and anyone that spoke tonight for the first time, I appreciate your courage. We got a lot of work to do, Anna. It's not over yet. Even when we launch, it's not over yet. I'm going to have Dave Johnson stand in front of me. We're just going to plow through everyone and we're going to get through everybody. Cause he's, he's a big guy, you know? Uh, but thank who else you. did I want to forget? Um, not, I mean, who else do I want to forget? <laughs> There's someone else I wanted to say. Uh, I'm forgetting it. Did I miss anybody? Oh, John. John, where's my brother, John Barilla? Where are you at, John? There he is. Oh, they, okay, here I am. Would you like me to thank some folks, Chris? Is that yeah, it? Ab absolutely, John. I always, yeah, go ahead, John. Well, go ahead. What were you going to say? I'm sorry. Oh, that I love you and go right ahead and do what you're going to do. Oh, well, I love you, too, and I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Hey, <laughs> folks, you know, we've got some folks behind the scenes, the Guardians, and they have been, well, actually, they weren't as busy as usual tonight because it was beautifully quiet. The YouTube channels were just quiet and nice, and our Zoom here tonight, we were all very, very good, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful, oh, bless tonight. And I want to thank, I want to thank the Guardians that helped me so much, and that would be M.K. Kaylee. Yen Yang, 444, Casey Zevenbergen, Kashu Pagu, Raphael St. Germain, Jean Aliva, Listra Tuach, Myra Aquino, Bruce Gerstein, Miriam Weberg, Roy Davies. Hey, the check is in the mail for that compliment that you gave me, Roy, by the way. Thank you. Uh, and Roy Davies, Yakaya Kadem, Rob Gorman, Dave Rosowski, Willie Wonky, and Nancy Babcock. And those are the guardians that we had, I think, tonight. Sometimes I leave somebody out. If I forgot somebody, they'll yell at me later. I'll let them know. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, John. And don't forget, now I remembered, uh, at, I think, let me see what time is it. It's 1131. Lynn, Rob Lynn Live is on in, in less than a half hour, 29 minutes. Make sure I'm giving everyone a good bath, a bathroom break. Go get a drink of water. Hi, that little one, Leon. How you doing with the one there? <laughs> it's all about those kids. Think about it. But uh, Samoa, man, we're, we're here to help you. Don't be afraid to reach out to any one of us and, and ask questions. Uh, emails were sent to you. You got some phone numbers. If you want to connect with anybody, Anna, or anyone else on the small team, Florence, get back with me. I will put you in uh, connection with everyone else. So let's do this. And I'm going to request again, two things, two things. I got my first pumpkin
picture tonight. And let me tell you, you guys know I'm holding this pumpkin contest where, where you, you got to carve a pumpkin that looks like ash. Doesn't matter if it's funny, ugly, whatever. I got my first one in tonight, and I'm going to tell you, it's really good. I, I was blown away by it. I'm not going to show you because I want you to use your imaginations, okay? And tomorrow's 360 will be 2 o'clock. Is Ash going to be there? I don't know. Ash showed up two days in a row, and I didn't know he was going to be there. Well, one day I did, but pretty amazing. And I want you to understand about your CEO. You, a lot of you came to our appreciation day the last couple of days that Julie Wen's been holding, and I've been the, 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 the ding-dong holding the timer. Uh, we're sitting there trying to say thank you to you, thank you to what's your family. Thank you. Now, what does he do? He comes in. And he wants to thank everybody. That's just the kind of CEO we have. Uh, he stood there. I'm not sure how long he was there for an hour, maybe today, a couple hours a day before. We are going to continue that trend next week uh, because there's a lot of people that still want to do that. Works out pretty good. So don't forget that. So Rob Lynn in less than 20 minutes or yeah, give or take 25 minutes. They'll be on. Go check them out. 360 tomorrow. Uh, then you got the old, old winners. Oh, winners at nine o'clock tomorrow night. I'll talk about it on my live tomorrow. But get to Robin Lynn. Go celebrate Samoya. We are here. Anna, yeah. I appreciate you, my sister. Thank you. All right, guys. Unmute and say good night. If I forgot someone, just yell at me tomorrow. Just before I am, um, just before we finish. Good night, good night everyone. Good night. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, good night, Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Hey, 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 brother. Good night. Go ahead, Anna. Unmute your mic, Anna. Anna, I wanted to say something. Anna, go ahead. Go ahead. Who? Anna, please go. Anna, back. unmute yourself. Anna, unmute yourself first. There you go. Just before we finish, I would like to, um, you know, say on behalf of um the Samoa community, and then um people from um New Zealand and um African, and then um uh, other pastors, you know, they hear from um the Cook Island, you know, and all the, you know, to thank you very much for your participation. For us, you know, that's why you here. It's just for us, the Samo people. But on behalf, you know, of my country, to say thank you very much. You know, much appreciated your time. You know, you just waste your time because you want to hear our story and want to hear to help. You know, our country. So, um, you know, I took my head off. You know, from um, the you know our CEO Ash McFarland. You know, I he didn't know that I was always intercede for this man and his family. Everything's happened. I can feel it myself. I said, though, he come through for some tough times, you know, but I just pray God, your peace, your mercy upon that man. You know, so now he brought me over here to this moment. You know, as I said, this is a such in time. He brought me over here and I thank God, you know, to drive me as a vehicle to my country, you know, to Ambassador. But once again, thank you very much. Thank you for Julie and um, Martin and, um, you know, Lynn Nakamoto. I always, you know, message her if I not understand this one, if I want to, she always responded me, you know, make up, bless you and uh, Rob and also, um, you know, um, all, the, all the founders, all the leaders, you know, you know, my heart, you know, is always go with you. And then thank you very much once again. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for our connection, Chris. You know, I know that you know. Um, you know, oh, you no, know, I don't know what to say, but you know, make God bless you abundantly, exceedingly abundantly. You know, so we can reach out all the people that you know the country that they need help. Thank what you very I, much, Anna. What did I tell you? You said, "How can I repay you?" I said, "I I get paid with hugs. When I meet you, I want to get a big hug. You know, how I am so." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> soon. <laughs> Thank you hug. very much. Thank I you. like Thank one you. too, please, Anna. <laughs> Thank you, oh, tomorrow Thank also. You so much. Everyone. Julie, Everyone. when are you going to go live tomorrow? What's, what time are you and the girls going live? Probably 3 o'clock. I want to eat. We'll, we'll post it out. We'll post it out. Okay. Hey, we could do a group hug right now. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Unmute yourself. Unmute please. yourself, please. You, you Thank you. Goodbye, Good everyone. Hug. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye.
Australia. 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 Australia.